Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, the sick again Everything Epan here, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Me Build 2380 in VirtualBox. This is the um, first of two builds of the Beta 1 series of Windows Me, and uh, let's go ahead and just get straight into the video here. So, go ahead and click New to create a new virtual machine. We're just going to call this Windows Me Build 2380 then click next and then just leave this at 128 megabytes and click next and then click create to create a new virtual hard drive and click next next and then create and then you want to go ahead and click settings and then in the uh, storage option when it pops up here you want to insert the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO and then click OK and then go ahead and start the machine. So when you click start, it should load up. Mine's taking a little long for some reason. There it is. And now it'll boot up into MS DOS. And then the first thing we need to do is we need to create our partition and uh, make our hard drive active. So we need to type in first F disk, click enter, and then we need to leave it at choice number one and click enter to select that. Click enter to select choice one again and then uh, hit enter one more time and go ahead and click any key. And then it's going to boot back up into MS-DOS. What you need to do now is type in format and then C colon click enter it'll say warning all data on non removable disk will be lost type Y and click enter it's going to format that and then go ahead and click enter after that so now the uh, hard drive portion is complete so now what we need to do is change the uh, bio state and in order to do that we need to type date and then we need to change it to uh, 09-12 1999 click enter and then to confirm that it has changed, just type in date again, and it should say Sunday, September 12, 1999. So now what we can do is insert the Windows Me uh, ISO. I'm going to go ahead and do that by uh, searching for that ISO. It's in my Windows Me uh, beta folder here. And under beta 1, there it is. Click open. And then now what we need to do is type in R colon or whatever the directory is for the uh, CD then type dir and it should come up with uh, all of these and then we need to go to CD win 9x click enter if you type dir a ton of files should blow it up type setup and then click enter to continue and here we are into the Windows Millennium setup and it's going to prepare it here I'm pretty sure this build does require a product key, so that will be, um, I'll be showing that on here, and then it should be included um, with the ISO and the link in the description from Windows PC. So we're going to accept the license agreement here and click enter, and yes, there is a product key. So we're going to go ahead and enter that in. This will be included in the description with the uh, ISO for you guys. Okay, so after that is entered in, it's going to ask where we want to uh, install Windows, and we're just going to install it into the Windows directory and click Next. And now it's going to check for installed components. And it says estimated time remaining is 36 minutes. It's definitely not going to take 36 minutes for this to install. Uh, then go ahead and just do the typical option. Then you can type in anything you would like for this page right here. And I don't know why. Well, there we go. Wasn't let me capitalize that. Click next, and then we're going to install the most common components, and then click next. Then you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it ME two three eight zero, and then go ahead and click next. And select your uh, country and your time zone, and click next. And now it's going to ask to create a startup disk, but obviously we can't do that. So just go ahead and click cancel when this pops up, and then click OK. 
and now we can go ahead and copy files. Now it's going to say it takes 26 minutes for it to uh, go through, but obviously it's not going to take that long um, because of newer hardware. So uh, just let this sit. It should take just a little bit of time in order for it to actually install, and I'll be right back with you guys once we hit our first restart point. Okay, so it'll eventually say setup is now ready to just restart your computer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that and then click restart now. And it's going to ask, uh, let's go ahead and boot from the hard disk here. And it's going to install some plug and play devices, which can take a little bit of time. So kind of just depends on how much it actually finds. But as you can see, it's going fairly quick here, actually. So I'll just kind of let this do its thing for a little bit more. And I'll be back once we restart yet again. Okay, so here we're ready to restart once again. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do so. And then boot from the hard disk yet again. And there it does say beta 1 in the uh, boot logo there, so that's pretty nifty. That it is uh, a beta 1 operating system. So it's going to go ahead and set up some more hardware. Um, and it says estimated time is 10 minutes. And it's obviously not going to take that long. Um, should take a short amount of time than 10 minutes. Because it's going through this part very, very quickly, actually. And now it's uh, going through the uh, system settings part of the uh, setup. So... Um, Give it a little more time, it should restart one more time, and I'll come back to you guys once it's at that point. If there's any errors that come up like this, just disregard them. Um, and if you have problems with mouse integration, just go ahead and turn that off. But if you have errors like this, just click OK, and it will ignore them. Uh, I guess if you have any errors like that, just click OK, and uh, it should keep going through the uh, setup. So give it some more time. And I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Okay, so after it reboots, um, do boot from hard disk. And it's going to load up. And if this pops up, just press any key. And it should disregard that. That's just Windows Millennium being Windows Millennium with blue screens. And then you go ahead and click OK to log in. It's going to update system settings real quick and then if the icons would pop up there we go and you've now finally successfully installed Windows Millennium and it actually has audio which is pretty neat so uh, if you heard the, if there was a startup or shutdown sound, I didn't have my headset on. But there is volume, so um, that's pretty neat. So there you go, guys. That's how to install Windows Me Build 2380 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Comment your ideas for future uh, tutorials and other videos down below, including betas. And don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.